Whoa! Jesus! Oh, Brett! Today's video is a little bit different than usual. Normally I'm out at the skate park doing all kinds of, why is the phone ringing right now? Steven thinks he's a comedian. Yeah, answer your own phone call, Steve. Go for it. I don't really ride pegs that much. We all know this already. I don't, actually, I don't really ride pegs at all. Let's just change that. So today, I'm gonna be making pegs and basically showing you guys what I used to do when I was younger to make my own pegs. Steve's making noises just to, just to ruin the video. Oh no! <laughs> I meant to hit Steve. I hit Gert's mom instead. Sorry, Mrs. Gert. So this trick that you're gonna want to do to make these bearings, um, it's actually very, very simple and it's super, super cheap. A lot of you guys have ridden scooters for a little bit, and you probably have like some extra parts laying around. Maybe not like brand new wheels or anything like that, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have like some extra bearings laying around or something like that, or even like spacers will work. But bearings are usually the best things to use. So I have my little toolbox thing right here, and inside this toolbox I have my wrench for my axles, which are both right here. So the axles that you're gonna have to use have to be longer than the ones that you use right now. The reason is because once you thread this axle through your fork or through the back end of your deck, you want it to hang out a little bit so you can you have room to put some stuff between the edge of your deck and the outside of this. So that's what we're doing. And the rest of the stuff in here is just basically a whole bunch of bearings and um, miscellaneous stuff. So uh, I have my, my Allen wrench right here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab as many of these bearings as I can, and basically I'm just gonna put them on the ends of both of these axles. Front wheels off first. I used to do this a lot when I was younger, and obviously when I was younger, I was a lot smaller and stuff like that. So, so these pegs actually used to work really well. I don't know how long they're gonna last now. Then again, I do have stronger axles now, so We'll see exactly how these work. We are gonna take this to the skate park and see if they will survive um, a bunch of stalls and grinds and stuff like that, but uh, I have no idea. So I'm just as oblivious as you guys are right now. I don't know why I just took my wheel all the way off. That didn't have to happen. So you don't have to take your wheel all the way off. You can just leave it on like this and then grab the longer axles and put them through. It doesn't matter. Uh, actually, it does matter. I don't know why I was saying that. So if you guys normally run your pegs on the left side, obviously you're gonna do the same thing with this. So me, I run my pegs on the left side because I spin right. So I'm gonna put my axle through my wheel like this. See on the edge how I have the, ax the axles like hanging out a little bit right here? That's exactly what you want. Normally you guys would need like a spacer or something like that to keep this area from um, but basically bottoming me out when you're tightening your bolts all the way on. But you're going to have bearings in here so that doesn't really matter. You don't need any washers or anything like that. So we're going to start putting the bearings on. I have a couple different colors. Uh, you guys can have different colors if you want. Right now I don't, I don't really care. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing in some bearings showing you guys this little project. And the cool thing about this is you can make the bearings and um, the pegs as long as you want. Like you don't have to have them any certain any certain distance. I mean, if I want to, I could make them to right here, put this bolt on and then cut this edge of this axle off and that's totally fine. So uh, I'm gonna put as many on there as I can just cause I wanna mess around. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six bearings on here, which is making the peg pretty, pretty average, uh, pretty average length. So we're gonna thread that on and I'm gonna tighten this onto the bolt and that will be our peg. And there it is, that's a, that's a peg right there. Now, these are not gonna be the best pegs in the entire world, of course. It's better for you guys to go out and buy real pegs, but this is a very good temporary peg. Front peg looks pretty good, like I was saying. It does spin around all the way. It cuts it kind of close in here. As you can see, normally my, my, uh, my pegs wouldn't get quite that close. They might be a little bit shorter, but because of the fact that I have this, uh, the nut actually hanging off of the bolt and everything like that, it, it just makes it a little bit closer to normal. I, it's not gonna tag or anything, so I'll be able to do my whips and everything like that, but uh, we're gonna do the back end right now and see how it looks. So as you guys can hear, it actually is still pretty dialed. So this thing, it's not really janky or anything like that. So now we're gonna do the back peg. I don't know if I have enough bearings or not, but uh, find out here in just a second. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. The back is a little bit different than the front. So I'm gonna show you guys why that is right now. Jesus. Okay, so let me explain why the back is a little bit different than the front and why you need to really make sure that you don't screw this part up. So you see how this has this little lip coming out on the back of the deck? Well, if I just put bearings in there like this, 
they're not gonna make it all the way down and they're not gonna be flat against the deck. So the only way that you can actually fix that is by putting spacers in there. And I have, whoa, I have a spacer right here. Basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this in. I'm gonna get a different one. There we go. So I'm gonna slide this one in. So now that that flat part is now elevated, now if I put a bearing in there, it will stay flat. It's not gonna be all ski womp or anything like that. The back end right here is gonna be just fine. There's a gap. So now I can put all my bearings on my deck. We're gonna tighten this up right now. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how dialed this thing is. And then we're gonna take this thing to the skate park and try it out. So I'm a genius. I'm just insanely smart. And I put the peg on the wrong side. This is supposed to be on this side. So now we have a little bit more of a project to do. The scooter is now ready to go. I have the pegs on the correct side. Left side, both pegs. Both of them are pretty close to the same, um, the same length. This one's a little bit longer because of the thing like I told you about back there. So I'm gonna take this thing to the skate park right now. Steve is going to Harupa, so um, we're gonna be going to GoPro and filming the entire time. But I just wanna test these things out and see if they are just as strong as I remember them being. All right, so we made it to the park. We have the pegs on right now. I'm gonna use them on this little quarter first. We'll just do like a normal 50-50. I haven't ridden pegs in a while, but... Okay, comment down below right now if you guys think that these things are gonna explode or not. All right, 50-50 grind, or double peg, what do you wanna call it? I've been skating too much lately. Oh, oh no, oh, screwed it up. I'm just gonna jump in really quick, I promise. I smacked the peg really hard. I think it bent, no it didn't, we're good, Never mind. We'll get ice. One trick I always did suck at when I did ride pegs was toothpicks. So we're gonna try to get a toothpick on this right now. Oh, haven't toothed in like two years, so let's see how this goes. Whoa, not that well. I didn't get the front one on, just the back one. Oh, you toothed the rail. Oh, I just hit the wheel. Wait, don't go. Dang it, I screwed up, I wasn't going fast enough. Okay, you can go, sorry. Whoa. Jesus! I need to lean into it more. Oh, brick! And then tooth. There we go. That was better. Now heel. Now we got toothpick. Oh, that one was fine. I just jumped off. I keep on doing a front flip. Whoa! Whoa! I don't know what that was. It was terrifying. I'll tell you that much. Okay, that's enough. I'm not doing the tooth. I'm gonna die. We'll do the whip over double peg on the bank and then something on the rail. We'll try to get the tree on the rail. Oh! That was actually kind of neat. Dang it! My little foot, my little foot, my left foot. Or Manny, whip in. Now the whip over double peg. That was a feeble! Look how pretty that is, oh my gosh. Nope. All right, this is the one, I feel it. Whoa! I see like a fakey ice alley-oop thing. It was scary. Oh no, oh no. Hey, we're in. All right, well, they don't seem to have bent yet. The back one's not bent, and that one's the one that I thought was gonna bend, but remember how I told you guys if they get loose, they spin? That's exactly what's happening right now. They're starting to spin because this thing is getting loose because I've hit it three times. All right, so I'm gonna do an ice on the quarter now. Ooh, I should do like a little peg grab or something. We do that on this little hump thing. <laughs> All right, so we'll tooth up the rail on the top. There we go, now we got ice. Excuse us, mate. Oh, Cheers. Hey, I haven't, I haven't even tried an ice in like two years. And to come back and do it first try is actually kind of cool. Whoa. I've gotten a lot better at flaring banks. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Hey, we got it that time. Rail. Manny. Hey, we got it in. Oh, I tried to ice out, it didn't work. Sorry, mate. All right, I'm gonna do triple whip, front scoot, and then uh, double peg. Triple whip, now front scoot. Now I got double peg. Oh, that's sketch for me. We'll try it. Hey, we didn't do the whole thing because I'm scared of grinds. We'll do more stuff on this rail, though. How about over ice? Oh, that was not an ice. I don't know what happened, but we did something cool. The over ice again. There we go. Update, they have not bent. Has the back one? No, they haven't bent at all. They're still pretty good. So if you guys want to try some pegs out and you don't have the money to go spend 30 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever on pegs, it might be, um, this works. It's a little heavy. Um, it's not nearly as light as like all aluminum pegs would be. And uh, 
probably not going to be quite as dependable either, but they work. They're getting the job done, and uh, I like that. That's a good thing. All right, we'll get a double peg on this, and then 270 in, 270 down whip. Now we gotta we gotta do a big flare turn down right here on the quarter. Big flare turn down. Oh, my head jogged around a little bit on that one, but we're good. Downside triple right here on the quarter bank. And then back lip on top of the rail. We're gonna do some ledge stuff really quick. So we'll do uh we'll do bar, feeble, and then tooth in. Good. That's hard for me too, so. Oh, hey! No. Alright, so it's getting pretty dark. That looks pretty cool still, and I know that there's a big dust storm coming in, so we're gonna cruise over to the normal camera so I can show you guys what these ended up looking like. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys the pegs right now. They actually turned out really good. Nothing is really wrong with them. You can tell like this one's not bent at all. I'll, I'll give it like a side angle. See, so it's not bent really. And then this back one, same thing. Not really bent. So if you guys need some pegs, if you want to try some pegs out, but you don't want to go out and spend 30 bucks or whatever they are, 25 bucks sometimes, whatever, um, make them. And like I said, you need, what, 12 bearings? I think there's six on each side. 12 bearings, you need a spacer, and you need a really long axle, and that's it. That's all you need. So give them a shot, and comment down below if you guys did try this or if you ever have tried this And If you have, that is awesome. Let me know how it worked. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you don't already. And I'm ending it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, later.